Hi, this is Phil Sal here with Wei Fei Zhu from the Cleveland Clinic here at ATBB PBD 2017, where Wei Fei is going to present some of her exciting work about the gut metabolite TMAO in thrombosis. Wei Fei. Hey, um, so tomorrow I'm going to tell a story about the, how the trillions of bacteria that anchored in our gut can affect our health. So basically, our group found that, um, that uh, gut, microbe, uh, gut microbe, where the generation of TMAO can affect, uh, can affect platelet function and uh, cause a prothrombotic phenotype. That means uh, there is a magnetic link between uh, gut microbial dependent metabolite TMAO and platelet function and enhanced thrombosis risk, and which is uh, critical to basically all kinds of cardiovascular uh, diseases. And clinically, it means that a subject who have higher TMAO levels may benefit from uh, dietary modification and uh, also aspirin to, uh, to reduce their blood clot formation. So with dietary manipulations, do you think that they can happen in a fairly acute setting or are you talking about long-term changes in diet? Um, I think, um, I think long-term is probably works better than acute, but I believe every effort will, will put uh, some effect on it. And do you think that this is a universal uh, effect on individuals, or are there specific uh, differences between, say, different races or, or with age? Um, we did not really uh, look at uh, different uh, uh, races people, but uh, at the different ra uh, ages of people. And uh, we do see that, I, I believe this is a universal thing, because if you are chronic exposure to choline, uh, your blood plasma TMAO will raise up, and then you will have a, a platelet hyperreactivity, which, is, um, which, which means that you have more risk for thrombotic event. Very exciting. Look forward to hearing more. <laughs> Thank you.